Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. We are still in our garage tour. Well, I say garage tour, garage tour slash checking what the game can do. We're finding out everything that this game can do, including um, testing the train, obviously. Things that need to be done. Now, there wasn't another episode of the regular Let's Play that we've been doing on this map um today because you had two time lapses i put up uh, the last fs17 time lapse and i put up the first fs19 time lapse or at least i should have done if everything has gone well because i'm this is yesterday for you uh so yes we do have this and then the time lapse is going to be once a week on sunday as usual and we're still going to be doing two episodes of this game per day for at least the next week. Now, there is another thing that we need to do with this roller that we're going to test a little bit later. And I have had a request for testing how the traffic works. Uh, whether we still have the collisions with the cars, whether they collide with us quite as much as they did, or whether it's different. Uh, I've had a number of requests about that, and if we can just sort of have a look at that. I said what I wanted to do today was I wanted to find out about the um, the cotton. We want to do some cotton harvesting. I've got the cotton harvester right there and was ready to roll. So we will be doing cotton in a minute. But first we're going to go and find ourselves an unsuspecting car. And we're going to drive into it. Because, you know, research. Science. This is all in the name of science. And science is very important and we should continue to do our research and look into science so let's go this way and first of all we're just going to drive straight into this car and see what it does right we didn't go over the top of it and i did think that we would it is pretty brick solid we have i have seen the cars stopping for us already so i know that they do stop for you and I did have, when I was recording the time lapse, I don't know if you'd uh, be able to pick it out, but uh, at one point when I was doing the time... Whoa! Okay, we're not going over the top of these vehicles at all now. We're going, we're just sort of being shoved out the way by them, if we're driving at them at speed. If I go over, though, in front of this one, and I stop... Uh, well, he didn't like that. I want to get in front of him so that I can stop. And just see if he carries on or not. If he tries to do anything stupid. Right, he's pretty quick to stop. Let me stop this one right here. Right, the car is pretty quick to stop. However, they're not as forgiving as they were. Right, that, although it might just be that he didn't read the twin wheels. But he definitely shoved us out the way, didn't he? He's, he's definitely not as forgiving as he was. That didn't stop at all. Nope. They're not in... <laughs> this is brilliant. They're not... They're not interested in stopping. You're in the way, sunshine. We got places to go and people to see. Get out of our way. <laughs> this is awesome. Right. And back a little... Just back a little bit more. And he's pushing us out of the way. Right. So... We can sort of see it's the twin wheels. It, it doesn't like the twins. He has it. Well, he, he doesn't detect the twins. So I suspect that is something that will be tweaked later on with a patch. Um, I have had people saying they think that maybe there's going to be new machines added for the actual release of the game. As far as I know, we've got all the machines we can see right here. So the likes of Hurleyman and Lamborghini and so on. Um, it's a shame, but it doesn't appear that those are in this time round. Maybe they will be added later on. Maybe they won't be. I don't really know. But what you see is what you get at the moment. Now, we all know that the modders are going to be adding in a whole load of stuff. And Giants themselves will add in a whole load of stuff. They also add in a load of their own mods as well. So there will be more stuff coming. We've got more stuff on its way. It's just, this is what we've got. What you see in here right now is what we've currently got. So our Mahindra up here. We're going to do some combining as well. That's another thing I want to do, but I'm not going to worry about that for a minute. That's the one I wanted. And go back to you. And let's start you up. So we want to get this one over to the cotton fields. So that we can see what we can do with the 
um, see what happens with cotton and how it works and so on. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say was, you know, I had this issue with um, the cruise control not auto disabling on my steering wheel. Now, this appears to be related more to my steering wheel than anything in the game. Uh, do you remember in FS17, and a num uh, not everybody, but some of us had this issue where if you pressed the accelerator, uh, you wouldn't get full acceleration. Right, I want to go over here, so really I want to head more towards the animal dealer. I can tag that place right there. And that gives me that great big pillar of green, which apparently was a thing that we could do in the last version. I didn't even know about. So there we go. I didn't know about that, but this is this is very cool that we've got it. Um, so I've had this issue where I couldn't, uh, you know, the accelerator wouldn't like go to full acceleration. So what I've done in this one is. In the main menu, you can alter this one from in-game. It's the sensitivity and the dead zones, right? So alter the sensitivity and the dead zones. You can alter those round to your heart's content. And I've altered them to reflect... Hang on, where can I go? I want to go up this way, I think. Up round there. So I have altered this... I've changed the sensitivity of the dead zone for my... I've altered the dead zone just a little bit, but it's not dead zone. It's on, at the moment, the, my, um, thing was on 100%. Sensitivity for the two pedals for my, what have I got? Hang on, it's a Logitech Driving Force GT. So the sensitivity was on 100%. I've increased it for the pedals, which for me is axis 11 and 12. Um, that's been pushed up to... Uh, 200%. The sensitivity has gone up to 200%. And that now works absolutely perfectly. There's no problems whatsoever. There is still an issue with it resetting itself. Um, that, I'm, I don't know if that, again, is something else I'm doing or not. I'm trying to find out for you whether that is just a thing that I've got going or whether it's something that does actually need to be looked at. Um... But with the sensitivity on 200%, the accelerator and the brake both work fine. I've got no problems with them. I no longer have any kind of issue with them uh, being too slow or anything like that. And also, when I use the brake pedal or the accelerator, the cruise control now disables properly. Now, for this series, as I've said, I use keyboard controls. I don't use my steering wheel. Um... So we're not going to see it on there. Now, I'm just, I brought that one up there. We'd already unfolded. And we're going to start our harvesting. So there we go. We can start harvesting. The weeds, I notice, disappear as soon as you do the harvesting. Um, and that... Okay, that actually looks really cool. The way that it's going in there. And it's actually... We've got one row per, um, per thing. It's actually lined up absolutely perfectly. Yeah, that's really awesome. With, okay, uh, I'm thinking it's going to take a while to fill this bad boy up. Look at it. Once across, that's 500, and that's, uh, I don't know what that percentage would be, but I'm thinking it's going to take a very long time to fill the cotton harvester all the way up to the brim. Oh, I see, that thing moves up and down. That's squashing it flat as it goes along. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. I like this, uh, but that's really going to take a very, very long time to do any cotton, har to, well, not to do the cotton harvesting as such, but to produce any bales. I, I'm guessing that you don't produce vast numbers of bales, which would be why back here, let's go back to our tractor. We've got a lot of these kicking around at the moment, haven't we? Um, that one over there, look, we've got that trailer. That only, that takes two bales. And then we've got the other one, which takes one single bale. I don't know where that one went. Uh, oh, there it is. It's over there. That one, that one produces one single bale. It doesn't produce any more than that. Uh, well, it uh, not produce. It takes. It, it carries one bale. And that's all it carries. That's, um... That, that would explain it, because you, you don't really need to be taking lots of it. If it's going to, like, take that much in order to be able to deal with one bale, 
it's really not going to be much of an issue for it, is it? Let's bring you back here a minute. There we go. We can hit you on. I do like that. That does seem to be a little bit more forgiving now. And we can turn nice and sharp on there as well. That's also really good. I want to come up here and see if I can get towards where that harvester was working. Where did I leave that harvester working? Ah, right over there. I haven't got far to go. I just want to go... Well, I want to go over to that big green pillar of light over there. And you can see where we're harvesting in the field. So we'll, we'll let that harvesting carry on a bit. We've tested our car there. There's one more thing I want to check with this roller and see if that works. So we'll go back and we'll get that. But I might actually make another tractor and we'll do it with a different tractor. Because there's many more tractors that we haven't yet looked at. And many tractors that some of you want me to look at. So we'll bring you on round here. You can wait there. I'll let that one carry on harvesting. And we're going to go and have a look in here. And we're going to take a look at another tractor. So what have we got? We've looked, We've got a John Deere. We've got these new ones over here. We've got the Fent. We've got the Challenger. We've got the Fent. We've got the Challenger. We've got the uh, case right there. Uh, another request that I had was to have a look at a tractor that you've not seen before. And I concur because I have also never seen this tractor or even heard of this tractor before. So it's one that I want to pull out of the shed and take a look at. It's not there either. This is a small tractor only. We've got a Valtra, a Fiat, a Fent, a Stara, a New Holland, a Linna, a uh, Massey Ferguson, and an Armour Track. Here it is. That is the one right there. I, tractor required to pull trailers and load this tractor and also attach a front loader. Does it tell us any more about the Armour Track? We've got rim colour right here. We can have red. This looks very much like a Zeta, doesn't it? So it's got that kind of small, compact quality about it, like you would find with a Zeta. So I'm wondering if this is something to do with Zeta. It might be. I don't know. Does anybody know? Is Armour Track anything to do with Zeta? Because I'm getting a strong Zeta-ish vibe off of this thing. We've got wheel weights. Or we've got white, wide tyres. It does look a little bit strange with wide tyres on there, it's got to be said. Uh, wide tyres and weights. Rear twins. Ha ha ha! Yes! We are almost definitely going to be taking this option. And narrows as well, so we can do our field work. That's brilliant. We're taking this option. We want, we're going for twins. So right there, you've got the front loader attachment or the non-front loader attachment. You've got a standard front weight on there with nothing else. Let's buy that bad boy right there. Yep. Okay. And back, back, and back. Yep, that one's still harvesting over there. Let's go and have a look. I didn't want to have a look at you yet. You're trying to steal the show now, aren't you? Which way are you? I want to go. I've gone back too far. Right. Uh, 3,000 litres on this so far. And it still looks like it's hardly filled up at all. Barely any change. Oh, you can see the... You, look, look, look. You can actually... I don't even know this. You can see the cotton right inside. That's so cool. You can actually see it in there. Okay, that's very awesome. I like that. Uh, now, I want to go back to my new tractor. Now that I've seen that one in action. Not you. You. This one right here. So we've got our little Armour Track 1104. Here it is. Armour Track. So has anybody ever seen one of these tractors before? What country of origin is this tractor from? Where would you see it? Where is it a regular guest? Where is it a little bit rarer? I don't know anything about this vehicle, so anything that you can tell me about it would be greatly appreciated, and I will think you're awesome. Now, let's just bring this over here, because, like I said, there's another very important thing that we need to find out. So we hitch you onto there. Are you going to drive? Yes, you can drive with the roller on, okay. So that's just fine. We've got no issues there. And we'll wander this one up the hill up here. And we need to go over to where our animals are. That's the next thing that we need to do, is we need to go over to where those animal pens are. It's not so much the animals I'm after. It's the, um, the, the pens themselves. So let's... Now... Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, we, we've got crop destruction as well. Forgot to have a look at that. Crop destruction is not too bad. I mean, I'm assuming that once you put the, the non-roller wheels on, uh, the, the non-wide tyre, you put the narrow tyres on, sorry, um, you're not going to get so much of a problem. The fantastic thing about these is that if we can get a really fast vehicle, we can go properly fast. And we ought to be able to make ourselves some jumps. Like some proper jumps. Okay, stop you right there and I'll unfold you and... Right, now I can unhitch. Then I can bring you on round this way. Keep going round. Like that. Bring you back to there. Right, and hitch you on. And obviously there, it's it squashes that down, it squashes it flat. But it's this over here. Somebody did suggest that maybe the bits that weren't related, it would the roller might do something to do with restoring the land to its original level. It doesn't look like that is a thing though we don't it, there's no restoration of land to original levels at the moment whether this is something that is going to happen later on i don't know but it's not a thing that's here at the moment so we've eliminated that we know that that's not a thing so i'm just going to leave you right there a minute i could put you down on the train track but i'm not going to not at the moment because i have other th oops other things i want to do namely i wanted to go and get this one I'm going to switch off the hired help, and I'm going to have a go at driving this myself. Although it's not so easy with the keyboard steering. So we'll lower you down. And we'll start you up like this. There we go. And I love the way that it... I mean, I don't know if it does that, like, intentionally. But the way that it's sort of going round, and you were getting the bits of cotton going into the machine, kind of lining up straight... That seemed pretty cool. Like, I, I don't know if that was intentional, that like if you put the hired help going anywhere. We're going to test that again in a second. I'm going to come up to this end. I'm going to spin round, and I'm going to put the hired help going, and I'm going to see if it's still going to go, like, line up perfectly with the rows. Actually, we could do that down through here. So let's try there. I'll just put H going there, like that, and... Right, now it's not. Okay, so that was just... Wait a minute. It's crept over a little bit. It's not far out. I think it's just a coincidence, though. I think that was just a coincidence. Okay, we've done enough on there. Let's bring you up here. And then we want to empty out this best. We've got 5,700. To bring up the F1 help, it's not control F1 or anything like that. I literally just press F1 and it opens up the controls like that. Then you can see all of the controls. You've got them all laid out there. So we'll bring this one over into the field a little bit more. We've got higher worker, turn on harvester, lower harvester, load, uh, unload unfinished bale. I got 5,700 litres of cotton out of this little tiny field here. And I get the distinct impression that we could do a lot more before we'd fill, even, even get close to filling this thing up. So we want to press Y to unload. Oh, cool. Okay, this is very cool, this is. Out it comes, just like that. I'm pretty sure it didn't fill up that much of the bale of the thing earlier, just now. That is that is very awesome. I like that. And then you fold back down again. Okay, I'm actually looking forward to doing, like, a big cotton harvest with multiple cotton harvesters uh, time lapse. Definitely want to do that. Definitely, definitely, definitely want to be doing that. Um, by the way, those of you who are into strict realism are probably not going to appreciate my plan for the time lapse. Um, I'm on Felsbrunn, in which I've said is going to be in Germany. We know that it could be in a couple of different places. Uh, they have said that it's kind of um, the Swiss-German-Austrian border. Um, I'm taking it as being in Germany for the purposes of my time lapse Let's Play. And I will tell you right now, I will be doing cotton, okay? I'm doing cotton in Germany, yes. We have specially genetically modified cotton, and that's how I'm doing it. Um, I know that some people aren't going to like this idea. 
too bad. I want to do cotton, and I also want to do the Felsburn map for that. So th this is how I'm doing it. I'm not doing sugarcane on it. I'm not going that far. I feel that sugarcane would be a step too far. But I am going to do cotton, just because I thought it would be quite cool to be able to do some cotton. Um, and it would also explain, because you have cotton as the some of the crops on here, but I haven't yet seen any farmers growing... Um, sugarcane. I've seen all the others. We've got cotton growing, uh, but I've not seen any farmers actually growing sugarcane on the hired help, uh, uh, like on the extra fields. I will tell you, though, I'll tell you right now, I've seen someone growing grass. Grass is now a crop that, it, that look, see, right there, look. They've got grass up there on that one. And field nine as well. They've also got grass. So there's grass growing on those. Uh, one and nine. Go to here to contracts, right? You've got a transport quest right there. Transport items from coffee house to dam. Uh, spraying, plowing, one or nine. Right there, look. There. On that one. Field 20, baling. Mow the grass. Mow the grass in field nine. Then bale the grass and wrap it to make silage bales. And take the bales to the barn. Use your own equipment or lease equipment for a reward that is reduced by 922 euros. Uh, well, dollars on this one. But uh, I've been recording the time lapse. Okay, this is how I know I've done some of this in the time lapse. You will have already seen that. So it is safe for me to talk about it. You'll also know that I've done this with the cotton as well. So um, I did kind of know what I was doing before I even got to it. Which is highly unorthodox for me. I normally bumble around without a clue. So there's our bale. Um... Did I manage to fake surprise correctly on there? I find it very difficult to fake surprise. I really do. I genuinely struggle to fake surprise. So I wasn't actually surprised about how that worked because I already knew because I'd already recorded it for the time lapse. And um, you, those of you who've seen the time lapse, um, excellent. Those of you who haven't, um, spoiler alert, is it too late for that? <laughs> anyway, um... The other thing was this. I did do this. I actually did a contract where I leased all of the machinery. And it's really awesome because it gives... I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go lease items right here. So then it goes to the progress. It doesn't actually tell you where Field 9 is. Right? I'm looking. Where's Field 9? It, it, it doesn't put you in the field. It, it gives you no hints whatsoever beyond saying, right, go and do Field 9. That's it. So we've got our shop down here. I, if I lease the machinery, I've got to take it all from there all the way up to field 9. Okay? So we're just going to drop this. Well, we're going to um, not worry about that one for a minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the shop down here. And I'm going to enter this vehicle. So I've got the voucher is there on loan. I've then got the mowers. I've got the butterfly mowers for it. So we can take those up to the field. We've got the coon merger here. And then we've got the coon baler there in order to be able to go and do the baling. We've got the wrapper. That's all ready to go. And then we've got the artisan for clearing the bales off the field. You've leased everything in order to be able to do this contract. You've got the whole lot all there, all lined up and ready to roll. So you can go up one at a time and you go to field nine. So we would mow that field. And you, it's grass all the way around the edge of the field. I wonder if we can, how quickly can we run over? I want to visit the um, grain elevator so that I can just show you this bit very quickly. So, uh, yeah, you can see over there that it's grass all the way around the field. And if you put the mowers down, you can still mow the grass, like, off the edges of the field like you used to be able to. However, because this is a contract, it doesn't like you to go out too far. I went out as far as I could, which was about a mower's width. Not that the whole butterfly mower, just a normal mower, just a mower's width. And look, there's our there's our line. Where's our line? There's there's the line right there. You can see it. Um, the difference in just there, sort of the ground texture between the two. And you can see it a lot easier when you're driving around in a vehicle. Maybe if we jump, you can see it a little bit. See? There. And then we come off the edge of it right there. So you can sort of see... Where it changes, right there on the corner. You can go out about a mower's width. Fraction under, maybe. And it will still let you mow that. Anything further out than that, it says you cannot use this. Um, this machine is leased specifically for a contract job. It stops you from doing it. It won't let you do it. And, okay. I am loving the rickety bridge. Ha, 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 ha. 
Yes! We have a rickety bridge! Well, you know what I want to do? Right down there. you got to line up. If you're going to do something stupid like this, at least try to give yourself a, a fighting chance and not land on the rocks. There we go. Right, and yeah! <laughs> okay, that was definitely worth it. It's quite deep under us right here, but my goodness me, you have really got to um, time that landing. Don't do this at home, folks. Do not do this at home. Just because I used to do it when I was younger and I was stupid doesn't mean you've got to be stupid, okay? Do not do that at home. Now, yeah, this is the one. That, no, that's not the one that I want. I want to go to the baler, uh, bale trailer over here. So, um, what you, what I did was I went round and I bailed everything up, and I went out as far as I could. And then you've got like a set number of bales that you've got to take. It doesn't tell you how many at the moment. Uh, you take them to the barn and you sell them, and then it's done. So if I cancel, yes, I want to cancel and then complete. So. That's now discarded, and you don't have to finish the contract if you don't want to. It just says that it's failed. Um, I did as much grass as I possibly could, right? And then I ended up with a few extra bales on top of what my contract had asked for. And those extra bales, I was then able to sell those extra bales for a little bit of extra money. And then complete the contract so i could have completed the contract without doing that but i chose not to i chose to keep going and i sold the extra bales as well so i was able to sell a couple of bales from the deal and on top of that let's tag that place down there now uh yeah on top of that i was also able to get a um right it is that it is that one right down there um i was also able to get the contract done and get the money from the contract and the same happens with cereals. If you if you go combining, do you remember in the last one, it would just give you a percentage done and then it would be complete? Well, you have the same. You don't have to do every single grain off of the field or anything like that. And then you have the job complete. But the incentive to keep going and to get every single grain off the field is that anything extra, anything beyond what the contract requires to complete, you can still sell... But you get the money for it. Instead of the farmer getting the money for it and you only getting the contract money, you get the money for that one. And that is a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful mechanic that I think is just awesome. Now, I want to bring that down to there. So we've got our cotton right here. And hang on, that's uh, unloading position. So I go to operating position like that. And it doesn't change, but if uh, then I can change it and I go to unload bales. And that just pushes the bale out like that. And it's sold it straight away. So you get 2,600 for selling that one right there. So I really, really love the new contract system. I think it is a vast improvement over the old contract system. I personally do. I absolutely love it. I genuinely, genuinely love it. Um, that you can go and use your own machine. I haven't actually tried. There's one thing I haven't tried yet. Can I take, like, multiple contracts all at once? Except, so we've got spraying right there. So if I go down through, I've got a load of harvesting stuff to do at the moment. I've got baling. I'll tell you what. You, you'll farm already. All oh, right, so you can only do one at a time. You can only do one active contract at a time, so you can't take multiple contracts and go and finish them all. But here, I'm using my own machinery. I've said, I've just accepted the contract, so cancel, yes, and space complete. Right. Um, on here, if you just accept contract, you're agreeing to provide your own machinery. You have to click on lease items in order to be able to get the machinery provided for you. But it doesn't turn up on the side of the field. It never turns up on the side of the field. It always spawns at the shop. So my personal recommendation to you is to pay close attention to the field numbers, right? I wouldn't be too keen on taking contracts that require a lot of machinery that you're leasing out to like field 10, 11, those sorts of fields, okay? If you're going to take multiple contracts, work these small fields, Work field 13, field 12, ones that are fairly close to the shop and you've got an easy run to get there. Field 6, 
Maybe go up to field eight up there because that's just a, a short jaunt up the road up there. And then you've got a big field that you can work up there. Um, the grain harvest ones, they don't, you don't just do that. You harvest the grain, but then you've actually got to transport it up the road. You've got to take it wherever they tell you to sell it. So if you're doing a grass one and they're asking you to make silage, so field nine, you will be asked to sell those um, bales at the barn because I think that's the only place you can sell the bales. So the, the barn is down there. So field one would be about the worst field that you could do for one of those contracts if you're leasing the machinery because you can carry 16 bales at once. It's a fair size field. You've got to drive all the way across the map from down there all the way up to there. These maps are the same size as the previous ones, for those of you who are asking. You've got to drive all the way up there, and then you've got to do all you've got to do. Then you've got to come back. You've got to get the next piece of machinery, go all the way back up there, and so on. All the way back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you get to the end, and then you've got to start loading up the bales. You load up bales, and then you've got to take those all the way down here to the barn in order to sell them, right? Have a look at the contract a minute. Down here. Which one was that? That was field one up there. So we have a look at the contract down here. We've got harvesting, 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 baling down here. Uh, that's field 20, though. I thought we had one for field one. Field 20, baling, you get 2,600. That's fairly close. I don't remember what the offer was for the other one. Uh, if we look up here, one, two, three, four, five. Have we got anything for one, two, three, four, or five? We've got five harvesting work, 17,000. You do get a big lorry and trailer in order to carry it. It costs you 3,000 in order to um, lease this machinery. However, that's 17,000. I would like to bet you've got to take that to the port grain elevator, right? Railroad Silo West, this is field five. Central grain, port grain elevator. You've got to take that grain from there over to that one over there, right? So you'd probably want to run that road and then that shortcut one down there and so on. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, you've, got to, you've got to transport it from there over to there. So I would like to bet that you'd get probably nearly half a trailer full at the end of it that you would sell that would be for your own money. So you would end up getting a little bit more besides just what you had on um that little bit so that's how the contracts work this is how the cotton stuff works and the vehicles uh they do bounce off the cars a little more than they used to i think we've covered everything that i wanted to cover today uh this garage series is deliberately a bit shorter than the let's play ones um so i i think i think i've covered everything i wanted to do today We've looked, we have seen how the contracting works. I've sort of shown you that. I've shown you the basics of it. Uh, we won't actually do any contracts because it just takes forever to do it. We did do some, um, we, we've tested this one out up here as well. And our beautiful, wonderful little armor track as well. Very pleased to see this armor track. It's a brand new tractor that I've not heard of. So that's, that's why I'm pleased to see it. I said I was going to look at harvesters. I didn't look at harvesters today. Hopefully, we will look at the harvesters tomorrow. Although, if there's a load of other things that people request, and I see those requests in the meantime, I may go and look at those. This series will run for at least another week while we go and we have a look around at various mechanics and stuff that the game has to offer. And then, after that, I'm not really sure how we're going to progress with stuff. Um, we'll wait and see. But anyway... If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.